Okay, so War Machine is number three. Give you a quick view of him. Pretty cool. I just got him like a month ago. Waited for this character for like nine months. I pre-ordered him on my birthday, which was in March. And um, it was a long, long, long wait. Now, this figure is awesome. The detail on this figure is just great, you know. Some people were complaining about the paint job. I mean, they, I think they could have done a better gunmetal look to him, a, a, a more metal look to him, like in the movie, or like they did with Mark IV. But um, I'm still very happy with this guy. And there is one major flaw that really bugged me when I found out, and that is um, the um, articulation here doesn't work that very well. It's uh, that joint doesn't um, work uh, very well. It should work like it should have ab articulation. It just doesn't, but it does work a little bit, so it's kind of weird. And um, yeah, this guy, I mean, all the stuff he has, you know, the face sculpt is pretty nice. I'm Susie. Yeah, he's wearing the. I mean, I mean, it's just a great figure, man. And I mean, when I get the Mark IV, I mean, this could look amazing, both of them together. So, and the lighting and everything is just freaking awesome, man. So, I think this is a, a great figure, even though it has some flaws, um, but then all figures have flaws, so, you know. Just an awesome, awesome figure. Especially in the back right here, all this detail, mechanical detail, thrusters, and the jetpack opens and closes. The um, what do you call them? The lights, uh, the lit lights. They um, they're very bright, really strong. So. I think the proportions of this figure are really good. They're like. I don't know, they look almost perfect to me, I think, you know? And the panels that open and close are freaking awesome, like the XY thing, and these missiles right here, so. And the little magnets they put in um, the face mask here, and the Gatling gun rotates and goes up and down and does a lot, so. The engineering was really good. They just messed up on the, the app crunch joint. But I'm hoping that maybe um, if they make a battle damage version, I'm praying that they'll fix that. Because Hot Toys is number one with their customers and they, they listen to their customers. So, pretty awesome figure. So ladies and gentlemen, War Machine. And I forgot to mention the hands, oh man. All the joints they put in there, it's almost like the Gundam Perfect Grades um, kits. They have joints in every part of the finger, so, you know, just great stuff, man. Yeah, it's a war machine. There you go. Also, his size is pretty nice. And when you stand up next to other figures, he he really looks like it's a, a man in a suit, you know. So just uh, just about everything is good on this guy. All right, guys. So this is number three, War Machine. All right, so we're up to number two, which is, man, it was really hard deciding between one and two, but um, I love the original Predator movie. Um, seen it many, many times, and um, when I was able to get this guy, Predator 1, I was really happy. I got him like in the first month of 
of 2010. And um, I think it was in January or maybe even December, but man, this figure rocks, man. This is one of the best Predators ever, ever made. The design, the proportions, the paint job, the, um, the armor, the new body they started using um, with this Predator, because this is when they started using that new body that um, it has better proportions than the AVP Predators. But still, <clears throat> I don't know why is it that sometimes people um, you know, like they make, uh, they, you see the evolution of um, of the bodies when they get better and better, but sometimes they de-evolve and they make mistakes. So they made him, uh, they made him a little shorter. But you know, uh, things happen like that all the time. Even in Marvel and DC figures, you see that. So, but um, yeah, this is just a great, great figure. And it's funny because I got this guy for retail price in uh, January and um, his price has tripled in just one year. It's, I mean, it's crazy. If I wouldn't have got him back then, I, I wouldn't be able to get him now because he's like 600 bucks. It's, it's freaking insane. So. So he comes with a really nice base and uh, a skull for trophy. And um, they did everything right. The um, backpack comes out and it, you know, has a medical kit. I mean, they really did a good job on this guy. He has lights on his helmet. He has the uh, targeting system. And uh, the, the cannon is really nice. And I think the nicest part of him is the head sculpt. Well, one of the nicest things. Uh, just really, really nice. There was one little thing that kind of bugged me, and that's his um, his blade. They just painted it chrome. Like, you know how the other AVP Predators and even the um, Guardian Predator, they have like special um, metal, metal. It looks like metal, um, but they didn't do that with him, you know? They just painted it chrome, which was kind of disappointing because he's such a cool figure and his claws are really nice, you know? They're really like long, so. But um, the paint job is freaking awesome. And since this is the new body that we're, they're using um, until the Berserker came about, um, the proportions really nice. And like what I mean about uh, the the, the 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 evolution of joints and how to make figures more uh, articulated like like I know the the berserker didn't wear a netting and maybe that's why they didn't put a joint in his torso but I hate to think that for now on they're gonna make all the predators with stiff stiff torsos I'm a, I'm a big I'm a big uh, fan of for articulation and if they start taking away articulation instead of putting articulation I just, I don't like that. And, and nothing against the Berserker, because Berserker is a freaking beautiful piece, you know? And um, I might even get him, even though it, he doesn't have that, um, you know, joint. It's a freaking wonderful piece of art to me, you know? Because these, these figures are like museum pieces, you know? So, yeah, so this guy, he's my top number two. The original Predator, really, a really, really nice figure. Let me give you a good shot of him right there. He has that nice glossy look, like. So just um, wonderful detail on everything, armor and everything. So. Base is really cool. Great paint job, great sculpting. And uh, he's right now standing on the skull, so I'm not gonna pull it out to show it to you guys. <laughs> anyway, you've probably seen it many times anyway. So, and the Berserker skull is even better than this one too. So, 
All right, so yeah, original Predator number two on my list of 2010 that I was able to get in Hot Toys. All right, so for 2010, the top figure that I was able to get is the Terminator Hot Toys T800. Man, this figure is awesome. I um I've customized him a little bit because I really like what I've seen on Sideshow Freaks when they put on like the Milli gun or the Gatling gun and the all that other stuff for making them battle damage. So I've customized him a little bit. I think that this figure is awesome. The way um the way Hot Toys makes leather is like the best. I, I don't see any other company making better leather than Hot Toys. They they really know what they're doing. And um, they just did an amazing job on him. So Arnold um, looks freaking awesome. He, um, the head sculpt is pretty awesome as well. Just, just a great figure, you know? I wish they would have gave him the glow, the, the light in the eyes. So I like to do with the Albert Wesker from Resident Evil, you know, in the head. I wish they would have done that. That's, um, it would have made this figure even more awesome. But, um, he's just a great figure. The, there's also a lot, when you pick him up, there's a lot of weight to the figure. Sort of like what they say with the Berserker, I think. I don't have the Berserker, but I can imagine. Like when I pull this figure out of the package, it's a heavy figure. And another thing, the articulation in this figure has all the articulation you ever want. I mean, the figure has all the joints that you need. And since he's a Terminator, I mean, you don't want to be doing like splits and stuff like that, you know. But still, he can achieve just about any pose that you want. So it's just a great figure. And, and on the detail on the leather jacket, I mean, you know, the little studs and you know, stuff like that um, looks great, you know? So, that's one reason I really like this figure, the articulation, the body. It's, it's, it's like a large body, um, muscle body, and it's perfect for Arnold, you know? So, just a great, great figure. And, um, Again, the leather is just, it's just top notch, you know? It just doesn't get any better than this, you know? Unless Hot Toys comes out with something better to use, some better material. Um, there is one bad thing about the leather, and it's that when you, when you bend the joints, there is like little kind of creases, or like little crack, not cracks, but creases that, that go on to the leather. But I mean, some people would say that's okay because you know leather does does that real leather, but um, eh, you know it's just nitpicking, you know. I'm I'm hoping to get the Ghost Rider because um, that figure looks amazing, and I wasn't able to get the Kaneda bike because it was too expensive. But you know, not only Hot Toys makes like the best figures, but they don't charge it like a oh, crazy amount, like. The bike in Canada was like freaking $450, man. Plus the figure, you'd be wasting like 600 bucks. And, you know, the Ghost Rider, you can just get it for like 250 right now, I think. So that's another thing about Hot Toys. They make, they their prices aren't that, you know, crazy, you know, so. And there's nothing against Medicom, whatever, but you know, just, I'm just saying, Hot Toys figures are, are really awesome. 